Hey there, Libra. Good afternoon and welcome to your April tarot reading. Libra, it is great to be able to connect with you today. And I want to put out a welcome to all of our soul family members out there as well. So look, if you're Libra and you found yourself here on this channel, on this reading, you're in the right place, right? And if you're not Libra and you found yourself here and on this channel, on this reading at this time, you're in the right place. Just want to let you know that. Uh, so many of you that are here, you may have your sun sign in Libra. Others may have your moon or rising sign in Libra. You may have your Venus in Libra. Um, others of you may be here checking up on a Libra in your life. Welcome, cross watchers. Uh, and others you may just find yourselves intuitively guided to be here. And I love to know that. I love to know that many of you are just listening to your inner feelings. Right, those inner promptings, and maybe you were scanning through YouTube and you were looking at readings and you pulled up this tarot reading. And it, look, at the end of the day, it may have been a number, it may have been a word, it may have been an emoji, it may have just been a feeling that said, click on this tarot reading. Because if you clicked and you're here, you're here for, a right re for the right reason. So welcome. I'm excited to have you here. If you're here, I feel like we're going to be covering your energies and they're likely going to be several important messages for you today. At the end of the day, it may just be one important message. So Libra, it's an exciting time to be alive right now. I mean, the world is a crazy place. It really is. Um, you know, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world, right? There's so much chaos and there's so much corruption. Uh, you know, it can feel a little bit overwhelming at times. But in the back of my mind, and it's in the back of my mind, what I like to feel and believe is that we've moved into this era of enlightenment, right? That even though there's all kinds of crazy things going on in the world, they're crazy things that are happening in order to enlighten us, right? And what I'm talking about there is waking up, right? All of us having the opportunity to wake up, right? And to be aware of everything that's happening and to be aware of you, who you are. Um, Libra, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. Growing up, you know, you, you, I know many of you, as I share this, many of you are going to relate to this. You know, we think about the meaning and the purpose of life and what it's all about and what we, what we talk about over and over, what we hear many times as children growing up is it's all about love, right? And, you know, when I heard that as a kid, those were just, at the time, those were just words. I understood what was being said. But now, not that I have a vast life experience or anything like that, but I have 53 years of life experience, right? And I'm here to tell you today, after 53 years of life experience, that Libra or the collective, the whole point of this experience truly is about love. It's about unconditional love. We're all participating in this energetic vibrational game of consciousness. Uh, and it's difficult, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's really important for all of us to remember that you are a child of God and everybody around you, everybody that you know is also a child of God, right? And as children of God, here we are in this game, right? But we came through the veil, so we can't remember where we came from or what our past lives were like, what we may have learned in other past lives. Those memories are there. I feel like they're probably there in our subconscious, right? But consciously, we're not really, most of us aren't aware of those, of those energies, experiences. So really, at the end of the day, what we're all trying to do is to figure it out, right? And that's why I feel like it's just so important to remember, Libra, that you are a child of God and that literally everybody you know, everybody else in this world is also a child of God. So why not just embrace those energies with unconditional love and just make it a point that all I'm going to do is I'm just going to love everybody unconditionally and see how that works out for you. See where that takes you. Okay, Libra, I'm excited for your tarot reading here. Uh, and I've been rambling for a couple minutes here and I'm going to ramble for a couple minutes more. Um, what I'd like to do is take a few minutes and I want to read to you about Libra traits. Right? And I feel like these, these are great little reminders for you if you're Libra. Right? And if you're not Libra, these are, this is great information for you so that you can better understand the Libra that you're aware of in your life. So I'm going to take a few minutes to read through some of Libra's traits, and then we're going to get into your tarot reading. So look, if you're at the end of the day, if you're here just for the tarot reading, just hit that little fast forward button. If you're not interested in learning about Libra's traits, you can just hit the fast forward button until you start to see me pulling energies. Okay, Libra, 
let's get started. So we're going to begin with what, what they're calling positive traits. Um, so positive Libra personality traits. Some of the best Libra traits are a sense of fairness and an outgoing nature. They're part of why we love Libras. So Libras are very diplomatic, right? You make great diplomats in life. You're naturally peacemakers and you're experts at being tactful and diplomatic in your relationships and in groups. You choose your words carefully and aim to find common ground with as many people as possible, right? <laughs> Beautiful energies that are connected to what the energies that I was just talking about, to be mindful that you're a child of God and that everybody else is a child of God as well. Libras are fair, right? Fair and balanced. Libras have a strong sense of justice. They want to make sure everyone gets heard and are passionate about making sure that things are balanced, especially when it comes to group events. Uh, idealistic, and I love these energies. Libras always prefer to look on the bright side. They see the best in all people in all situations. They have great intentions and think the best people, think the best of people and ideas. I love that quality. They always have high hopes for starting new projects and learning new things. Libras are social. Uh, there, are few si there are few signs more extroverted than Libras. Libras love being with people and they love meeting new people too. They thrive on companionship and they surround themselves with interesting people that can introduce them to new things and new adventures. Being social is one of the most fundamental elements of the Libra personality. Libras are very clever, right? And I love the energy of cleverness, right? And to me, it's just such a turn on. Uh, Libras are witty, smart, and excellent conversationalists. That's so true. Uh, they have active imaginations and are quick on their feet, which makes them great company and great problem solvers. Okay, the flip side of the coin now. So what they're, what they're labeling is what they're calling negative. Libra traits. I don't really like to see them as negative. Maybe they're limiting. These are potentially limiting uh, traits for Libra. Just important for you to be aware of. Uh, Libras are one of a kind and these negative Libra traits are part of what makes them who they are. The negative Libra characteristics are part of their love and their balance. The first is your indecisiveness. Libras love balance. Libras love a balance can get in their way. They'll spend hours weighing the pros and cons of even the smallest decisions. They want to please everyone and have trouble committing to one thing or another, even if it seems inconsequential. And I understand that energy. Even though I'm not a Libra, I get that. I'm a little bit that way as well. Uh, Non-confrontational. Libras are peacemakers by nature. They're great at finding compromise within groups, whether it's between friends or in business settings. But this means they also have trouble facing their problems and will put off difficult decisions for as long as they can. Again, I'm not Libra, but I get that one too. Uh, Self-pitying. One of the downfalls of Libra is that they can be a bit self-absorbed. So when things don't go perfectly right for them, sometimes Libras can feel as though their world is ending and everyone is against them. They have trouble seeing the bigger picture in times of strife and instead focus on themselves exclusively. Libras can be unreliable. Uh, Libras are known for being flighty. Flightiness, you gotta love that. Uh, while they are lots of fun to be around, they are not always the most reliable. Very true. Uh, lots of Libras are wonderful and loyal friends, even though, though they may not show up at your dinner party in time. Uh, the last uh, characteristic is vain, vanity. As we mentioned, Libras love beautiful things, including themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? In fact, before we can ever extend unconditional love to everybody else around us. We have to feel that unconditional love within ourselves. So Libra, the fact that you guys are good at loving yourselves, that's a beautiful quality. Uh, just keep in mind, you may find a Libra taking selfies everywhere they go uh, or spending lots of time on pampering and appearances. They may be critical about how other, pe how other people look or be reluctant to hang out with people they think are less attractive. So those are just some common characteristics found in, in the Libra energy. So if you're Libra, take note on those. Uh, and if you're here checking up on a Libra, hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the way that your Libra, the Libra in your life is wired. Okay, Libra, let's get into it now. Let's get into your tarot reading. Word, this tarot reading again is for April. Libra energy. I'm going to use my Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. And I just want to pull three energies from this deck that are going to kind of provide the framework of what's happening with Libra energy during the month of, of April. 
Okay, tell us about Libra in April, please. Wow. We got quick energies that came right out. So the first energy that's showing up for you, Libra, it comes to us as transformation. So this is equivalent to the tower energy. It's about, excuse me, it's not the tower energy. This is, a, this is equivalent to Scorpio energy. So some of you Libras may be connected to a Scorpio in your life. Um, coming, in to, coming in right underneath transformation, you have fulfillment of wishes. So, you know, it's kind of interesting because I'm at work today, right? And as I was working, you know, my other job and I was, I was driving in my car, I was thinking about, you know, kind of meditating on Libra's uh, tarot reading today and just kind of thinking and feeling things. And for whatever reason, what I kind of kept feeling with Libra is that Libra energy, you may be at a place where you've been showing up for people right going the direction going it going a direction that's maybe not your personal choice first choice in terms of direction but going the direction of others right in order to keep the peace and what i was feeling when i was driving is it is it maybe in april for some libra energies maybe you've hit a standstill right where it's like now i want to step back and it's like oh I want to get focused on what you want in life, right? Your wishes, your hopes, your dreams. And that's why I'm not at all surprised to see this energy come out. In fact, I imagined this energy when I was driving. Um, so I'm not surprised at all to have this energy pop out for you, Libra. So many of you may be going through a transformational change, right? Um, this could also represent the energy of, of endings, right? So some of you may be ending something in your life you could be you know either ending relationships or, or ending maybe the way that your energy has been not in all relationships but certain relationships maybe for some one specific relationship okay let's pull one more energy tell us about wow here it comes right now here's your beginning love begins ace of cups showing up for you right here and just notice on this image we have two hands that are holding this cup, right? So this can represent the energy of the beginning of love for some of you. But we have you transforming, right? Making making changes in your life in the energy where I'm going to put an ending, right? To going the direction that's really not in your heart of hearts, right? Um, so making some transformational changes and possibly some endings in your life in order to get really clear on, hey, I'm going to go my own way right here. I want to manifest the things that you want in your life, your personal wishes um, being fulfilled right here. Okay, Libra, let's continue. Let's change decks, and I'm going to switch over to my Crystal Vision tarot set. And I want to begin by pulling some energies from this deck that are going to come through as clarifications for these energies. And what the clarifiers do is, they give us an opportunity to dig a little bit deeper in this story, right? To be able to better understand this transformation that Libra is going through. Okay, tell us about transformation for Libra in April, please. Tell us about transformation for Libra in April. First energy to come right out comes to us as the Six of Wands. You know, good energy right here on the Six of Wands. It's like, it's it's representing the energy of I'm determined, right? To rise to the top, right? To I'm determined to achieve victory and success. This is victory and success for you. All part of these transformational changes that you're making. Okay, let's clarify the Six of Wands. Tell us more about the Six of Wands for Libra, please second time it's come out for you libra here you have the ace of cups showing up so at the end of the day come hell or high water i'm determined to transform my life right if i'm libra and to make changes that are going to take you towards this beginning that you love it could be the beginning of love and connection and because i'm determined to achieve victory and success in this energy okay let's continue to clarify tell us more about transformation for libra please Boy, Libra, your energies are popping right out. So coming in next, you have the Five of Swords. Limiting energy right here. And I feel like, Libra, I feel like you've been in this Five of Swords energy where you've just maybe made some choices to you know, 
not not taking a choice that's your your heart of hearts, right? What what it is you truly want to do for you. Um, I feel like maybe you've been making choices, right, in order to just appease people to keep the peace, and inevitably, right? I feel like these energies are maybe catching up with you a little bit, and that's why the Five of Swords energy showed up. But let's clarify this Five of Swords. Please clarify the Five of Swords for Libra. Okay, interesting. So, attached to the Five of Swords, it makes a lot of sense. You have another five right here. Fives represent, it's a number of changes, right? And this is all about changes right here, a transformational change. Um, you know, Five of Swords, a limiting energy of feeling like, hey, somebody may have stabbed you in the back. Uh, or this could represent that you may be in the energy where somebody feels like maybe you stabbed them in the back, in the back as well which inevitably, right, is bringing up the Five of Wands energy. So, you know, the Five of Wands is coming in because what it's talking about with you, with you, Libra, this is all representing your, your energy, energies that are taking place within you. Notice how these two lions, they look identical. The three men with sticks, they could all be brothers, right? This is talking about the energy of, you know, the own internal battle, right? The, the, many of you Libras will be, will be going through in the month of April, where you could be second guessing yourself, right? It's like, gosh, why did I choose to go this direction when it really wasn't my heart of hearts choice? And inevitably, it's bringing up a little bit of um, internal disconnect taking place within you. Um, maybe you're just second guessing, uh, questioning yourself, you know? It's like, I mean, we all get this energy, right? It's like when you make a choice, right? And even when you're making that choice, Sometimes even then you know it's the wrong choice, but it's like I'm still good. I'm, I'm making that choice regardless. Inevitably, you're aware of this, and they're not choices that are serving you very well. This is exactly why, and we're going to be getting into this, you're moving towards the fulfillment of your wishes, your hopes, your dreams. Okay, let's continue to clarify transformation for Libra. The fool's energy wanted to come out. Beautiful. Love to see the fool for you. I think the fool's energy is a fantastic energy to show up for Libra. Okay. All right. So the next energies that come out are the fool's energy. So what it's talking about is it's talking about you stepping into a brand new journey right here. A brand new beginning. And it's a beginning for yourself. Um, you know, where you're going after the fulfillment of your wishes, your hopes, and your desires. So you're embracing this energy of the fool or you're being encouraged, right? Um, and the reason the fool's energy is coming in is because you don't want to get stuck in this energy, right? It's like the choices are, you know, choices before today have, have already been made, right? So, and inevitably, right, these choices aren't sitting very well with you inside. So why hang on to those limiting energies? This is about letting those energies go, literally letting them go, allowing them to come to an ending, a complete ending. And with that transformational change, you had the opportunity to step into the fool's energy where now you're ready for your vision, right? You're ready for your desires, your hopes, your wishes. And then attached to the fool's energy, we have the page of cups. Um, so no fear, no worries, no concerns right here. And really, this is, you know, it's also representing the energy of, you know, some of you Libras may be in the energy. It's like you're going to take some chances on yourself because at the end of the day, there may be no guarantees, right, on the choices that you're going to make. So you're really being encouraged to let go of the fear, let go of the past completely and trust yourself. Stepping into this energy with adventure. Page of Cups says communication. Uh, you know, this is a message of love that's coming in. It's illuminating in this water lily that's in front of her. She's trying hard to read the message of love, but she's unable to, maybe a little bit too soon. Okay, maybe that love comes in right here in the Ace of Cups. All right, Libra, let's move down to fulfillment of your wishes, and let's clarify this. Please tell us about fulfillment of wishes for Libra. Page of Swords wanted to come out. Let's clarify this Page of Swords. Please clarify the Page of Swords for Libra. Attached to the Page of Swords, you have the Queen of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here. Uh, coming in attached to the Page of Swords, right, we're talking about communication right here. 
So some of you Libras may be in the energy where you could have Queen of Wands energy in your life. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who's who could be very charming, right? This is also somebody who probably likes to dress up. Um, somebody who, that, that can recognize, right, the quality of life, the quality of things, right? And, they, and they're, they're particular about quality items in their life. Notice the companion next to her is the lion, representing this person's inner power and strength. Uh, so this could be an energy coming up for somebody that you may be communicating with in your life right here. Um, for others, this Queen of Wands energy, even though it's fire, may be coming in representing your energy. You know, you have your ability to be able to embrace this Queen of Queen of Wands energy and, and look at the end of the day, where does communication start before it begins with other people? This communication starts within ourselves with the Page of Swords energy. Okay, so Libra, you may be being encouraged, right, to embrace the Queen of Wands energy. I mean, look, at the end of the day, Queen of Wands energy, it's the kind of energy energy that's going to go after what she wants, not he or she, uh, not necessarily what other people are wanting right here. Because at the end of the day, this Queen of Wands trusts themselves completely. All right, let's continue. Tell us more about fulfillment of wishes for Libra. Judgment wanted to come out. And that makes sense, right? Because at the end of the day, if you're going to, Libra, if you're going to change directions, if, if you've been, I'm going to say compromising, compromising and making choices, right, in order to just keep the peace and maybe going in the direction of, of what others want to do rather than what you personally want to do, Inevitably, right, when this change takes place, it can bring up some energies of judgment because at the end of the day, not everybody's going to like that. Uh, let's clarify judgment for Libra. Please clarify judgment for Libra. Okay, coming in attached to judgment is the Four of Cups. So Four of Cups is a limiting energy. And what is, what is representing the energy of? Uh, and I feel like this Four of Cups is showing up for you, Libra. You know, it's your focus right here on this one cup in front of her, right? She's so focused on this cup that she's unaware of these three cups that are behind her. Three of cups representing friendships, right? Meaningful connections in her life. But inevitably, what it's, what it's representing the energy is of is you feeling like, well, just knowing, right? That you could be experiencing so much more in life, right? More joy, more happiness, more beautiful experiences, but in this energy right here, you're feeling a little bit disconnected from it, which inevitably will bring up these energies of judgment. And I feel like it's, you know, it's, it's an internal judgment within you. And that's why this five of wands energy came up. Because really, this is kind of connected to judgment too. It's talking about the internal battle that's taking place with you. Okay, Libra, let's continue. Please clarify fulfillment of wishes for Libra. You have the hanged man that wanted to come out. Pisces wanted to show up for you. For those that may be connected to a Pisces, please clarify the hanged man energy. So, okay. Attached to the hanged man energy, again, Pisces energy. Uh, hanged man represents the energy of, you know, I feel like Libra. You've been thinking about this for a little while. You know, this isn't just, you can just wake up today and just, I immediately started feeling this. I feel like you've been feeling this Five of Swords energy and Five of Wands energy for a little while, right? And so you've been thinking on it, right? I'm thinking about, I need to make a choice. I need to make a decision. I need to make a change for myself. I need to create a transformational change in my life. Um, coming in attached to the hanged man, you have the Nine of Swords, which is representing a limiting energy of fear. You know, it's almost like, He's waiting, right? Waiting to make a choice and a decision. Just like this little bird right here is waiting for her to pick up this sword and to stick it in the ground, right? Along with these other eight swords in order to allow this energy to pass. So it's representing the energy of fear right here. Uh, so some of you, that's exactly why you maybe still be in a hangman position. I need, I need to make a change in my life, but I could be a little bit fearful, right, of this change. And... Attached to fear, you have Four of Wands energy, representing the energy of commitment, right? So 
Look, at the end of the day, Libra, right, many of you that may just be in the energy of feeling a little bit dissatisfied and wanting to make a, a change for yourself. Um, a lot of you may still be thinking about this, right, because you could be concerned. There could be some fear regarding this commitment in your life, whatever this commitment amounts to, whether it's the commitment, right, to a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, girlfriend, um, a best friend, a business partner, your your boss at work as well. So, you you know, some of you may be fearful of, I don't want to break this commitment right here. I mean, that's really what's being pointed out right here, right? I'm fearful of breaking this commitment, and as a result, I haven't quite made the choice yet. Still thinking about it. All right, Libra, let's see if we can help you along here. Uh, let's move down to Love Begins. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups beginning. Please clarify Love Begins for Libra. Three of Wands, boy, I'm looking to make some changes in my life, right? And so here I am, I'm looking at this new journey that lies ahead, but I want to, and what does this journey look like? It's it's the Ace of Cups beginning. So stepping into a beginning that you love right here, um, you know, and where does it all start, right? Before, a lot of times, even before choices, right? Physical choices are made. Many times these changes, right? We visualize them beforehand, right? We see them taking place in our mind, and that's, Kind of what's being pointed out right here. She's looking at the journey that lies ahead. She wants to get an, an idea of what this journey looks like, right? If I'm going to change directions, I want to see what things look like. So if she wants to get a little sneak peek. She takes out a crystal ball and holds it up to the sun. We see two rays of light piercing through the crystal ball. Let's clarify this three of wands. Please clarify the three of wands for Libra. Please clarify the Three of Wands for Libra. Okay, coming in attached to the Three of Wands, you have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups, it's a good energy. Notice here in this figure, she's been in the water, right? And now she's walking away from the water. So it's representing the energy of you walking away from something in your life in order to step into this brand new beginning right here. And what you're being encouraged to do is like, if you're, if you're trying to imagine and see what this next journey looks like, right? It's really difficult to kind of visualize and, and get a, a sense for what the future looks like if you are in the energy where you, you're maybe hanging on to the past. Uh, and so the energies Libra that you're gonna specifically be encouraged to walk away from found right here, Five of Swords energy. Where it's like, yeah, I went a direction and like maybe at the end of the day I just feel like I got stabbed in the back, right? That direction didn't serve me at all. Um, could have caused some internal conflict within you. It's like, why did I do that? Why did I go that direction? I should have just followed my heart and went my own way. Um, so you're really being encouraged to walk away from the past in order for you to really be able to wrap your head around what the future looks like. Okay, Libra. Let's continue. Please clarify fulfillment of wishes for Libra. Ace of Swords coming in. So here's another beginning, right? And where does this beginning start with? Just like I mentioned, right? Before before physical actions take place, a lot of times, you know, we, we make these transformational changes in our mind, right? This is about you creating and manifesting the future that you're stepping into right here, uh, which inevitably all takes place within the mind, and that's why the Ace of Swords is showing up for you. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Please clarify the Ace of Swords for Libra. Hierophant energy wanted to come out for you, Libra. So Taurus just showed up in your tarot reading. For those of you Libras that may be connected to a Taurus in your life, you may be getting ready to step into this beginning with a Taurus. Uh, but the Hierophant energy is, is represent, representing that energy of, you know, in the past, maybe I didn't use very much wisdom right here. Or maybe I, at the end of the day, I just wasn't following my heart, right? This is representing that energy. Of, I'm going to listen to myself. I'm going to listen to my intuition I'm going to follow my heart. I'm going to make the best choice, right, in order to take you towards this beginning right here. So pretty fantastic for you, Libra. Let's continue to clarify. Love begins for Libra, please. Wow. 
Love these last two energies that came out for you. So Sagittarius wanted to show up in your tarot reading. For those of you, may, those of you that may be connected to a Sagittarius, this is temperance, right? So this is representing that energy of divine timing, right? And really, this is divine timing. So divine timing, Libra, is still available for you, even though in the past you may have went a direction you didn't want to go in this Five of Swords, which brought you some experiences that you didn't want to have, which maybe created this internal conflict. Uh, but look, at the end of the day, don't, don't beat yourself up for it because everything in your life is taking place in divine timing right now. This is a very balanced energy, right? And I feel like that's why it's so important, Libra, in this Eight of Cups energy to walk away from the past, right? To let go of it completely. You know, it's not, not like I'm gonna look back on the past and have all these regrets and live in this remorse, right? How can I move forward if I'm stuck in the past? So trusting in divine timing right here, very balanced energy um, coming in attached to temperance. You have the star card. So here's the energy of Aquarius showing up for you. For those of you Libras that may be connected to an Aquarius in your life, right? You may be divinely connected to this Aquarius in your life. So it's all about you making the choice and the decision to go after what it is you want this time around, right? In order for you to fulfill your wishes, your hopes, and your dreams and move you quickly towards now I'm back on track and I'm manifesting all of my hopes and dreams. Because look, at the end of the day, Libra, you child of God, this is your life and your life experience, right? So make the best of it. Okay, Libra, let's continue. I want to pull an affirmation card for you to take us out of your tarot reading today. And let's just see which affirmation comes up for you. Please help us to pull an affirmation for Libra, please. Please give us an affirmation for Libra. Maybe, huh? Okay. All right, Libra, we just got your affirmation for you. And I love this for you. So the affirmation taking us out of your tarot reading today comes to us as action, right? Your ability to take action right now, to bring an ending to whatever in your life needs to come to an ending, right? Um, whether it's relationship, friendship, or it could just be your own personal direction. It's like, I'm not, I'm going to stop going the wrong direction and I'm going to listen to my intuition, follow my own sense of feeling right here. I'm going to transform my life and I'm going to take action to do it. Uh, this energy says, stop hesitating. It's funny, you know, talk about hesitation right here. Right? Some of you Libras, you're in this hangman energy. Hesitation. Thinking about it, wanting to make the change. It says, stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic, right? It's just about taking some chances. Nothing can hold you back. Okay, Libra, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank all of you. I want to thank all of you for all the love and the support. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to have this channel. You know, uh, if you like this tarot reading, give me a give me a thumbs up, a, a like, a subscribe. Um, thank you so much for those of you that have donated towards the channel, right? Because really, at the end of the day, your do your donations make such a big impact on my life. So thank you so much, uh, as well as those of you who have ordered personal tarot readings. And I'm still doing personal tarot readings. If any of you are interested in those, just send me an email at treeoflifetarot, the number nine at gmail.com. Okay, Libra. Wow. What a great month you're stepping into in the month of April. Wishing all of you the very best in the month of April. I hope this tarot reading resonated with you. More importantly, I hope these energies resonated and you were you were open to hearing and listening to the important messages that were meant for Libra. Or if you're not Libra and you're here, if you're here, the messages that were meant for you to hear.
Okay, guys, wishing you the very best. Love all of you. Have a beautiful day.